fire strikes, you may have as little as one to two minutes to escape. That's why it's so important to have a well-rehearsed escape plan. I'd like to take a few minutes now to walk you through the steps you need to prepare a fire escape plan for your home or apartment. A great way to get started is to draw a floor plan of your home, both upstairs and downstairs. You need to have two ways to exit each room. That way, if the fire blocks one exit, you can escape the other way. The first exit would be the easiest, such as a bedroom door. The second exit could be a window or a fire escape. If your bedrooms are on a second floor, you should purchase a fire escape ladder. Practice using this ladder from a first floor window to make sure you can do it quickly. Now let's draw the plan for this particular bedroom. On the floor plan, mark the primary escape route, the bedroom door, with an arrow. Then mark the secondary exit, the bedroom window, with a number 2, showing that this is the route to take when the first one is unsafe. Once you've prepared the escape plan, you should designate a meeting place where all family members should go immediately after escaping. This meeting place should be a safe distance away from your home, and you should mark it on your escape plan. At the meeting place, everyone can be accounted for. Then, one person can go to a neighbor's home and call the fire department. After you design your plan, you must practice it with every family member. Practice at least twice a year so you'll be ready in an emergency. From exiting each room to meeting at the assigned meeting place, every family member should know what to do. So let's see if you would know what to do if a fire happened in your home. If you are awakened by a smoke detector and sense a fire, do not jump out of bed. Since the heat gets more intense the farther from the floor, roll out of bed onto the floor. Your bedroom doors should always be closed when you're sleeping, since the door acts as an insulator from the fire. Touch the door with the back of your hand, both low and higher up, to see if it's warm. If it is, don't open it, since there may be a fire on the other side. Use the alternate route on your escape plan. If the door is not warm to the touch, open it about one to two inches, bracing it firmly, since pressure from gases may be on the other side. If the air from behind it is warm, do not use the hallways. Pull the door shut and use an alternate escape. You should always try the second exit if you encounter smoke when escaping from a fire. But if you need to go through smoke to get outside, here's an important thing to remember about smoke and fire. At knee height, the temperature in a fire may be about 90 degrees. At shoulder height, a burning fire can be as hot as 690 degrees. When escaping, Always stay as close to the floor as possible in a crawling position. If you need to crawl to safety, keep your head about one to two feet above the floor. Once you're safely outside, go to your prearranged meeting place. Don't waste time calling the fire department from inside the house. Do this after you're safely outside and never go back into a burning building. Whether you live in a house or an apartment, you need to prepare yourself. For those who live in an apartment, there are additional safety precautions you should take. You should know the stairway and fire exits outside of your apartment building. Never use the elevator during a fire. It could break down or bring you right to the source of the fire. Always use the stairs in a fire emergency. In some cases, the safest action when a fire alarm sounds may be to stay inside your apartment and protect yourself from smoke until the fire department arrives. You can seal all doors and vents with duct tape or towels to prevent smoke from entering your room. Let fresh air in the room by opening a window at the top and bottom. Call the fire department and let them know that you're still inside. We never like to think that a fire can happen in our home, but by developing a fire escape plan, you'll be prepared to handle a fire emergency.